What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today I'm going to unbox this Mission Belt. Uh, Mission Belt is maybe the original or one of the bigger brands that makes holeless, you know, micro adjustable slide belts, um, basically belts with no holes. This isn't sponsored, uh, Mission Belt just offered to send me one to try out. Uh, as you know, I'm a fan of Anson Belts, who also makes belts without holes. Um, and so I kind of want to see what the difference is, see if Mission Belt is, you know, better or worse or uh, just different or, you know, what the deal is because I know they're pretty popular. So, uh, let's open this up and check it out. Thanks for being part of the mission. I believe this company has uh, some sort of that's like a belt hanger. Uh, I have some sort of uh, not-for-profit or, or charitable angle where they maybe they they donate part of their proceeds or they might send a belt to people in need or something like that. Take this guy off. So this is the brown leather belt with the brown kind of like enamel buckle. That's the back of the buckle. It looks not too dissimilar from uh, an Anson belt or other slide belts that I've tried. So it has the same uh, mechanism, these little teeth here with the latch that basically grabs onto the unfinished end of the belt. Remember, when you get these belts, this is the end that you want to shorten. So we're going to shorten this uh, down to size, you want to shorten it from the unfinished end, not from this end that's finished and has the little tracks. So, how does this belt look and feel? It says, yeah, it's leather right there, but to me it feels like maybe genuine leather or bonded leather. Let's see what else it has to say here. Just kind of explains how it works and uh, how to size the belt down, which it looks like I'm gonna have to do. I'm just looking for some info about the actual the actual leather, but I can't find it. So um, I'm I'm thinking this is this is genuine leather or or uh, bonded like pressed leather, which is not high quality. I do I like the color. I don't like the logo. I wish that that logo wasn't there. Um, Cause I don't really like visible logos on my clothing. And in this case, you know, on a belt, I don't think you really need someone's logo on there. So so it works the same way as any other, as any other slide belt, feels pretty smooth. Let's go ahead and Put it on. All right, so as you can see right now, I have my Anson belt, uh, which has pretty nice action to it. Um, you can see no logo there. This one does have some scratches because I've worn it a lot. Um, I have the logo on the back. Uh, and yeah, I have a hole in my sweater. It sucks, it's one of my favorites. Let's take a quick look at uh, these two belts together. Here are the two buckles. You know, slightly different look, but I mean, similar feel. Um, I can't really say that like one is better than the other. I'd have to use the Mission Belt for a while because I've used the Anson Belt uh, for maybe like a year now and I haven't had any problems. Um, so I know it's well built. I'd have to use the Mission Belt for a while so maybe I'll give you guys an update. But let's try this one on. I think the logo goes that way. So the belt would have to go on this way. It's funny, I usually put my belts on the other way. Maybe I've been doing it wrong this whole time. I think this one will be maybe a few inches too long, but um, can shorten it later. Little levers on the bottom. Feels pretty nice. Smooth, nice action. And that one too. So there, there it is. 
And yeah, the only thing I really, I really wish that that logo wasn't there. Um, I just, I don't, I don't like when brands make you wear their logo. It just feels kind of like an advertisement or something. So, so the slide works pretty well. It's, it's, it's a rounded shape. The, le the lever is a rounded shape uh, as opposed to the Anson, which is more of a rectangle. So it's a tiny bit harder to get, get it to release. Let's go ahead and shorten this guy. So to shorten it, just pop, pop the end off here. So you got the unfinished end, grab a pair of scissors. In this case, I know that I want to take, I don't know, maybe four or five inches off. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it. I, I'd recommend measuring. <laughs> uh, with any holeless belt that you're gonna shorten, I'd recommend measuring it first. Okay, and then you just push that back in, clamp it down. It does feel like a very sturdy clamp, I'll, I'll say that. Um, doesn't feel like it's coming off or anything like that, so that's good. Oh, Mr. Mr. Belt Loop. Let's see here, oh boy, there we go. I'm only struggling so much because I usually put my belt on in the other direction. Yeah, I, I like the size of this belt. Um, I like the stitching. It feel, feels pretty good. You know, if you're wondering which, which one do I like better, Anson belt or Mission belt, um, well, I, I'm gonna have to wear this for a while to, to see how it holds up, but I guess my initial thoughts are, um, I like Hanson Bell. I like the buckles better because they don't have the logo on them. Uh, and I, I like the release latch just a tiny bit more. And of course, the fact that they have a higher quality leather available. All right, so there you have it. That's my quick thoughts on these mission belts. Obviously, Anson is a sponsor of The Modest Man. They sponsored blog posts and videos. So, um, you know, you guys know that I'm a fan of, of that brand. I don't see anything with this mission belt that would make me want to buy it over an Anson belt, um, but I guess that could come down to personal preference in terms of the colors available and the style of the buckle, whether or not you like the logo. All else being equal, I think I'd probably choose an Anson belt right now, but, um, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Hope that helps if you're trying to decide between uh, the various brands for holeless belts. Uh, if you have any questions or thoughts or if you've tried any of these brands, leave a comment down below. And until next time, Stay stylish.